Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to bringing the version video. What I've guessed today is one of the most underrated builds, in my opinion, in the game right now. Now, I just want to make this clear. I am not saying this is the best build for PvP. I'm not saying this is the most overpowered build in the game right now. I'm just saying this is a build that really no one uses. You really don't see a lot of build videos on this. You really don't see a lot of people using this um, on stream or like when they're making videos or whatever. And it's actually really, really good. I don't understand why people don't find this build um, as good as I do. Maybe because my playstyle might be a little bit different than yours or whatever the case is. But like I said, I'm going to show you guys this build, what I've been using for the past couple days. And I really, really enjoy this. And I would recommend you guys trying this out for PvP or PvE. So as you guys can see, this is the build. Now this is my high-end slash tactician build. Uh, this is something I, I did use before. I think when the Ninja Bike backpack first dropped, I did try this out. I don't know why I wasn't really the biggest fan of it. I found using Banshee, Predamark, and Tactician was really good as well. And I kind of like drifted away from this build, but now for the past like week or so, I've been playing a lot of Last Stand. I've been just grinding Last Stand, um, you know, getting caches, getting my, my credits, whatever the case is. And I've just been using this build pretty much the entire time. So uh, the first thing I do want to show you guys is the weapon. I am using actually a lightweight and four with the same talents I always do, uh, which is adept, competent, responsive. Now you guys can use something a little bit different if you want. Uh, ACR, G36, whatever weapon you want to use, it's up to you. Um, it really doesn't matter that much. But if you do have a good lightweight and four or a LVOAC, I would recommend using that over anything. As for the secondary, I would recommend using something that's really good up close, so like the MP7 or MP5 or even a shotgun if you want to use it. It's personally up to you. I'm just using the MP5 because I do have really good talents on it, and obviously it's a really good SMG. As for the firearms, stamina, and electronics, as you guys can see, you want to spec a little bit more into firearms, like 6200, 6500, something around there. For your electronics, you want to be 5500, 5900, 5800, around there so your heals are really good. For your stamina, just make it as low as possible. Stamina really doesn't matter at all. Um, as of right now, in 1.8, it will change and stamina will be actually useful and worth specking into. But right now, if you're just playing and you know you just want to test out builds, whatever, you just want to see if you like this, just make it exactly how I have it. Anyways, for the chest piece, what you guys want to be using is a vigorous chest piece with health, skill haste, firearms, and ammo capacity. Now, a lot of people always ask me why I don't use Barrett's chest piece, why I don't use um, it more often on my builds. The prime reason why is because I like using a booster shot, and with my booster shots, I like having a overheal, because having the overheal pretty much gives you like 50% more health on your build. So that's pretty much the reason if you guys don't like using um, booster shots, if you're more of a overdose player, then go ahead and use a Barrett's chest piece and swap out your booster shot for a overdose. As for the mods, I'm using two firearms and health mods. Now, the only reason I do have them is because I'm setting at 50% skill haste already. Well, technically, I do have 49%, but in my opinion, that 1% isn't really worth investing over like a firearms and health mod or firearms and skill power mod or, you know, electronic skill power mod, anything like that. In my opinion, you're getting your heals almost the exact same time as if you had a 50% um, instead of 49. So like I said, it's personal preference. I just like having two firearms and health mods on this build. As for the mask, I'm using arguably the best high-end piece of gear in the game, and that is a refreshed mask. In my opinion, if you guys are making a high-end slash exotic build or any build, and you have a open spot for like a, a high-end piece of gear, like a specialized backpack or vigorous chest or something, I would recommend using a refreshed mask all the time because it's so good, it's so helpful, and even if your heals are not the best, you're still going to be, uh, you know, getting a high benefit from this mask because of the 30% healing when in the last slot. For the knee pads, I'm using the Tactician knee pads. Uh, this is self-explanatory. The only reason I'm using them is for the skill haste and the skill power, uh, which is very helpful and it's pretty much the, the main focus about this build. But what I have on it is electronics, health, blind slash death resistance, shock resistance, and increased kill XP. But ideally, you would want burn resistance, especially if you're playing like last stand or the dark zone, um, because it's way more useful than having increased kill XP. For the backpack, yes, I am using a ninja bike backpack. I know some of you guys are asking why I won't just use a tactician's backpack. The reason behind that is I don't have a good one. All the ones I keep finding and all the ones I keep getting are with like stamina and like stability or stamina and critical hit damage. It's not really something I've been looking for and 
you know, obviously using a ninja bike backpack or a tactician's backpack really doesn't matter. But I'm just using what I have, so if you guys do have a tactician's backpack, then go ahead and use it with your knee pads, your holster, and obviously the backpack. Anyways, what I have on it is 1266 electronics, 12369 health, and also disrupt resistance. And then I'm also using one firearms and skill haste mod with two first aid self heals. The last piece of high end I am using on this build are the Savage Gloves. Now, once again, I am a very big fan of using Savage Gloves on assault rifles. I just find the critical hit damage or the critical hit chance, my bad, um, is just really useful and it just really helps you out. Um, in PvP or PvE, it's just overall really good to have. Obviously, the Skull MC gloves are better, but um, if you're making something with like Tactician or Banshee or whatever, having uh, Savage Gloves is really nice. But what I have on them is 1237 electronics, which as you guys can tell is pretty bad. But I am using this build in last stand, so it really doesn't matter. I also have Skill Haste, Assault Rifle Damage, and Critical Hit Damage as my major attributes. Last but not least for the holster, I do have a Tactician's Holster with Skill Haze, 1242 Firearms, 1269 Stamina, and 1246 Electronics, and then I also have a First Aid Self Heal, so that's pretty much for the build. Um, as I said, I don't really see this build too often in Last Stand, on streams, in YouTube videos, anything like that. I, I seen few videos on this build um, before, like when the Ninja Bike Backpack first came out. But right now, I don't really see people using this too often, and like I said, if you guys want to use something a little bit different instead of just using your high-end slash exotic builds or Banshee Predmark builds, whatever, try this out. It's really good. You get your heals um, really quickly and, um, and stuff like that. So really quickly, I'm going to show you guys my character stats on this build. So for the base damage, I'm sitting at 19.3k, 8% critical hit chance. Keep in mind, uh, this is without the 7% from Savage Gloves because it does not add up. Uh, to the stats. Also setting at 94% critical head damage, 87% headshot damage. Uh, for my health, I'm sitting at 203, which goes up to I think 206 or 207 in last stand, 31.19% armor mitigation. And I'm also setting at 49% skill haze, which in my opinion is very, very good. Like I said, you guys can go all the way up to 50 if you want, but uh, you'll be losing out on using, you know, another mod. Anyways, that pretty much concludes the video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section below. I respond to all my comments. But once again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.